Ravi and Josh are heading out of Grimm's pool, loaded up with rubbish. They're just passing Sharon's cafe. Just do this bit, or we can get going. Told you it wouldn't take long, Sha. Yeah, you're a proper little whirlwind, aren't you? Okay, Ravi. What's all this? Thinking of joining the circus? Oh, are you, Josh? Now he's redecorating. What do you think of colour scheme? Yes, um. Well, uh, if you like pink, it's uh, it's very attractive. See, sure, he likes it. What did I tell you? It's always worth taking care of your external appearances. Are you right? Yeah, let's get going. Cashmore's lending Spanner the speedboat. We are going for a picnic. Wilton Cashmore's lending Spanner. Lending without knowing, if you get me drift. What a pair, eh, Ravi? No, Spanner, you are a wonder! <laughs> You're looking a lot better today, aren't you? And that's thanks to Daphne. Daphne Peacock Veterinary Centre. Oh, hello, Mr Lasky. Tangled round its legs. Oh, dear. By the canal tunnel. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. We're on our way. Come on, Fee. Emergency. Got to go now. It's really good being a vet, isn't it, Daphne? Always something exciting happening. Yes, I think I might be one when I grow up. Fiona. Actually, I know quite a bit about nature. Birds and flowers and sea lions and whales. Fiona. Yes, Daphne. Put a sock in it. Bigot Industries owns everything in Grimspool, including Wilton Cashmore, Mr. Bigot's right hand man. Yes, Mr. Bigot. Oh, everything is under control. Uh, the sales reports. Oh, Mr. Bigot, um, uh, I'll have them to you by this afternoon. How's Mrs. Bigot? Oh, I don't know if it's not one thing, it's another. Blue file, blue file, where did I put it? Mrs. K, what have I done with the blue file? Oh, goodness me, executive stress. I don't know, Mr. Cashmore. What should I do with these papers? What? Oh, throw them out. Lovely day, Mr. Cashmore. We are paying you to ship rubbish, Jones, not run a pleasure cruise. Long-haired hippie. Fiona, vets don't drop their patients. I was trying not to hurt it, poor thing. Mama. What's that noise? It's a bad You great, ignorant oafs! This is a very sick duck. You could have drowned it! Oh. Oh, where the devil's it got to? Is this the blue file you were looking for? Oh, Mrs. K, where was it? It was with the papers you told me to throw up. Oh, uh, oversight. <laughs> Cashmore? Yes? What? The packing machine? Oh, don't touch anything, Frank. I'll come straight away. Mrs. Carrier, I wonder if you'd do me a little favour. Mr. Bigot is going to ring at four. It's very, very important that he has this information. Would you mind? Hmm? Oh, very well. <sighs> I love beauty. It's so beautiful. Oh, treasure. What are you 
doing? I'm writing you a poem. Oh, you're not. Oh, blooming am. Listen to this. Well, go on, then. <coughs> Violets are red. Roses are blue. But no flowers are half as beautiful as what you are. Tulip. Oh, that's really lovely. I haven't finished oh, yet. Sorry. Tulips are yellow. Bluebells are blue. Cowslips are pretty. Oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Spanner, you stupid twit! Take me home! Take me home now! There now. That feels better, doesn't it? <laughs> you see that? Fishing lane. Horrible stuff. Don't go near it in future. Right? <laughs> Off you go. And take it easy for a few days. Hey, Fairport. Can you hear something? <laughs> Quick, take cover and keep your heads down. Oh, are you all right? Josh, look over there. What is it, Ravi? Oh, <laughs> Joshua Jones, don't you dare say anything. Hey, Fiona's dad will go spare when he finds out we've turned back to Grim's pool. Oh, blow Cashmore. Can't leave a soak to the skin, can we? You all right down there, Fiona? Yes, Josh. Poor Miss Peacock, too. Don't worry about Daphne. She's a vet. Actually, I'm going to be a vet when yes, I grow up. Yes, Fiona, I think you might have told us that. Hey, up. Right, you two. Let's have some action. Fiona, you take the helm. Ravi, help me get that tarpaulin lashed down before it's too late. Too late for what? Just do it. I don't know why he's getting so het up. Ah! Josh! Come on, Abby. Get hold of it. I, I, I can't reach. Gotcha. Mr. Cashmore's residence, his cleaner, uh, secretary speaking, Mr. Bigot. Oh, yes. I've been asked to give you a message. The message reads, violets are red, roses are blue. Mrs. But K, no what are, are give, give, it give it here. Give it here. Mr. Bigot. Uh, no, 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 Mr. Bigot. She, she meant blue files, not blue roses. <laughs> no, let me explain. Josh knows all about nature. He can tell the weather by looking at the clouds and birds and things. I bet that's what he did. I bet you're right. Josh, how did you know it was going to get windy? Well, simple, really, Fiona. Heard the weather forecast on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Sharon, your countryside's not like your parks. What have park keepers to clean up animals' doings? It's quite <laughs> Oh, my giddy aunt! What stupid, brainless twitch done that? Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua
Josh has been making a raft for Ravi. <laughs> Surprising what you can do with an old inner tube. What do you think? It's stunning, Josh. Thanks. Look, I've tied the plug on with a bit of cord. So you won't lose it, see? Yeah, yeah, great. Can I try it out now? Of course you can. Spanner's not very happy with Sharon's cooking today. There's something missing. The thing is, sure, fish and chips in the same without fish. I mean, it's just like, well, chips. I know that, Treasure. But I haven't had time to go to fish shop. What with me night classes in photography. Mm. I'm using special black and white film, all arty. I'll call that one. Plate of chips. You don't have to go to fish shop. You're looking at one of the most expert anglers in Grimm's Pool. Keep them warm. I'll go get me rod. I'll call this one plate of chips with sauce bottle. And me, fishing expert. Hey, Josh, it's dead steady. I could go miles in this. Don't forget your paddle. Oh, thanks, Josh. There you go. Oh, and Ravi, don't do anything daft. Don't worry, I won't. Got me own boat now, Fairport. Bon voyage, and good luck to all who sail in her. Bye. <sighs> Still no sign of Spanner. How am I supposed to get Delilah loaded and off? Hey, up. What's this? Dear Josh, I've gone up Sharon's to get me strength up. Spanner. God, he's scoffing again, Fairport. Hello, Spanner. What are you doing? Fishing. What's it look like? But you won't catch any fish there. It's too full of oil and stuff. What about sardines? Sardines? Yeah. You always get them in oil, don't you? Oh, Spanner. Hey, Fiona. Look at me. Wow. Where did you get that from? Josh made it. Brill, isn't it? Do you want to go? There's room for two. Mm, yes, please. Here you are. It's all right. I can manage. Oh, oh steady. Oh, don't <laughs> rock it. <laughs> You all right? Of course I am. Where are we going? Uh, the place where evil pirates and sea dogs hang out. Where's that? Sharon's Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Mr Bigot. <laughs> I do hope you have a very happy birthday. <laughs> there, are, Mrs Carrier. What do you think? I'm sure Mr. Bigot will be very pleased. <sighs> hey, Hope, I've got a bite. Oh, it's a big one and all. Hey, wait till Sha sees this. I shall deliver it personally, by hand. <laughs> so that's how you want to play it, eh? What the devil's going on up there? Uh, Stand aside, Mrs. Carrier. <sighs> Right. Well, don't think you can get away from me. I've got you hooked and you're staying hooked. Oh, 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 Spanner, oh. what's all the racket about? Oh, you're supposed oh. to be loading up. I've just caught a whale. Oh. Oh. Uh. At least I think I did. Just get on and do it. Yes, Mr. Cashmore. Oh. Just when they were starting to bite. But 
talk about a monster. It were enormous. I'm not kidding, Shah. You should have seen it. It would have made a great photo opportunity. Oh, yeah. It were this big. <laughs> cool. Almost as big as his head. I thought I told you to... Uh, 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 I was just going, Mr Cashmore. Ooh. He was just telling us about this fish where he nearly caught. <sighs> what? Spanner? <laughs> he couldn't catch a cold. Daddy's honorary president of the Grimspool Angling Society. Are you really, Mr Cashmore? I most certainly am. <laughs> I'll give you a demonstration of real fishing technique. It's all in the casting, you see. <sighs> come along, come along. Pay attention, you two. Now, you should place your feet firmly apart. Hands flexible, but relaxed. Make the backward action so, then the forward whipping action so. <laughs> Mr. Biggin's birthday! Oh, my lovely present! Oh! Rabbi, quick! The raft! Don't worry, Mr. Cashmore. We'll get it! Oh. Come on, come on! We haven't got all day. Get a move on! You hold it steady! Oh, come on! Oh. Out of my way! Oh. Rabbi, oh. No. You've forgotten the paddle! I'm coming! I'm coming! No, please! Don't go! Daddy, careful! Oh, 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 oh! Stupid contraption! There's nothing to get hold of! Oh, oh, no! Oh! Oh, Mr. Bigot! Oh, I'm sorry! I just didn't mean it! Oh, it was oh, oh, it was an accident! Oh, oh I'm going to drown him! I suppose it could have been an enormous pilchard, or even a... Holy mackerel! Oh, screw! Look at that! Help! Help me, somebody, please! Don't just stand there, you dumb clucks! Fish me out! Hurry up! Oh, I'll give you my 22 karat gold fishing rod and the hooks! Oh, help! Oh, nothing else for it, I suppose. Hang on, Josh. Leave this one to me. <laughs> oh, 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 no! <gasps> Daddy! Daddy, you all right? Oh, Daddy! Hold it there, Mr Cashmore. Say cheese! Lovely fish, this, Josh. <laughs> you didn't catch that round here. Bloomy did. Caught a Buster Bates fish shop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody! Come and see me photos. This is the best one. I'm going to put it in for the night school exhibition. Oh, no. I shall call it <laughs> Spanner Wilkins <laughs> Makes Monster Catch. <laughs> some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town, some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Some 
It's all hands on deck down at the Lock Cottage today. <sighs> oh, no! Come on, look lively, Ravi. No time for daydreaming. Oh, not into the water. Go get a dustpan. All right, Captain. Sorry. It will be one of those days. Think I've finished, Mr. Carrier? Oh, but can you see your face in it? <laughs> yes, at least Ravi can. No, no, still a spot there. Ah. There, look. They let me have that. <laughs> Hello up there. It's Josh. Hey. Come on. Oh, uh, oh, hey, yeah, Bapu. Oh, volunteers. <laughs> What's all the excitement? Bapu's entered the competition. He found the best kept lock on the Clearwater Canal. Do you want to give us a hand? Well, I'd like to, Fiona, but you see... The winner gets the silver lock key. Oh. Well, I've got to deliver an engine down to the wharf, so I can't. Ah, must dust the life belt. Bapu is in a bit of a tizzy. He does so much want to win this trophy. Spanner had a little accident yesterday. He dropped Wilton Cashmore's speedboat engine into the canal. Spanner! What are you playing at now? Engine angler, Mr. Cashmore. Told you I could fish it out. You're wasting time. I've ordered a brand new one. And when it arrives, I want you to fit it immediately. I'm going to a very important function tonight. What's wrong with fixing this one? I bet it only needs a... Oh! Oh! <sighs> a clean... Come up, you blooming great. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Sausage. Hey, everything okay down there? Oh, Josh, you come just in good time. Uh, you give me hand for move this tire onto trailer, huh? I can't, Joe. I've got to get this engine down to Cashmore. But I promise, admirable. I, I shift the old tire before Judge come for Inspectopath. OK, Joe Lasky. Got to be quick, though. Hokey dokey. But first, I go up farm to get rope for pull blighter up with. But Joe, I... Only be a jiffy. Well, that's it, Fairport. Oh, blow it. I'll do it on my own. Otherwise... We could be here all morning. Judge comes, I think he'll say, Abandon the ship! Ooh, oh, Ravi, have you seen? Yes, Josh, over there. Oh, heck, Joe, that's done it. No, no, of course I won't be late for the dinner, Mr. Bigot. <laughs> the, uh, 
Canal Preservation Society is dear to my heart. As it happens, I shall be arriving in style. I've had a brand new engine fitted to my speedboat, and it's... Hello? Hello? Oh, blooming foreign engineering. Not so where bolts ought to be. <coughs> oh. Hiya, treasure! I brought you a little snack. Oh, Tasha. Need that. Mm. What are you doing? I've decided to build you a motor cruiser. Oh, really? You mean like what film stars and them have? Yep. Just got to do what we engineering experts call diagnostifying the mechanicals. Then I can start building the boat. Run it. Oh, hello. Run it. Ah! Well, there you go, Admirable. It's the best I can do for the moment. Um, what do you think? It will do, I suppose. Where's Mr Lasky got to with the tractor? I don't know, Fiona. I'll just have to have another go at shifting the tyre myself. No, no, Josh, you go. You're late enough as it is. You've done your best. Can we go too, then? Yes, yes, yes. Everybody abandon ship. Well, good luck, Mr Carrier. Oh, I'm scuppered. Oh, 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 my foot. Oh. Look sharp. Sorry, Josh. I forgot you were in a hurry. You're dead right I'm in a hurry. We've got to get that engine to the wharf before Fiona's dad has a... Josh, what's the matter? Wilton's engine. It's been stolen. What are you going to say to Mr Cashmore? Nothing much I can say, Ravi. Just have to face the music. Jones! Where the devil have you been, eh? I don't want your excuses. Just get my engine down to the wharf and unload it right now. Um, I'm sorry, Mr Cashmore. I'm afraid I can't do that. What? And why not? Well, uh, I don't know how you're going to take this, but... Um, the thing is... Yes? Josh! My engine! If this is your idea of a joke, I'll have... Oh, no! Not joke, Mr. Cashmore. This Josh is good idea. See, he get held up back at lock, didn't <sighs> you, Josh? Well, uh, yes. So, he say, Joe, will you deliver new engine on tractor for me? Because Mr. Cashmore want it very quick. So... Here it is. Oh. I think you should give Josh a big thank you, Daddy. What? Um, Jones, um... Uh, well, Jones, um... You don't have to thank me, Mr Cashmore. Oh, thank you. You could let me use your portable phone instead. What do you think? Well, I thought it'd be a bit more luxurious. Oh, watch this. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> <laughs> How do you fancy a Motor submarine! Oh, oh, oh Mr. Carrier, you've won! I bet it was all that cleaning and polishing we did. Well done, Admirable. I think what most impressed the judge was my special garden feature. Oh! Papu, you're a genius! Oh, not me, Ravi. I just answered the telephone. Josh, it <laughs> was you! <laughs>
Joshua Jones is on his way to Wilton Cashmore's, loaded up with paving stones, and he's running late. Oh, all secure, Joshua. Full ahead. Oh, that is unless you'd like to join me for a cup of real Indian tea. Oh, no. Sorry, Admirable, I can't. Cashmore will be waiting for this lot. Oh, everybody always full steam ahead nowadays. Perhaps I'll have one on the way back. Oh, jolly good. Oh, goodness! Oh, oil! Hey, Joshua! You're losing oil! Oh, carry on like that and he'll be scuppered. Nothing for it. Have to man the lifeboat. It's all right, Joshua. I'm, I'm on my way. There now. What do you think? Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, brill. Has he got deadly poisonous fangs? Don't <laughs> be silly, Rabbi. Grass snakes are quite harmless, aren't they, Daphne? That's correct, Fiona. Oh, good. That'll be Mr. Lasky come to mow the lawn. Yes. Oh, he's quite warm. Morning, Mr. Lasky. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Miss Peacock. I have good idea. Oh, Trojan. My mower not working, so I bring Trojan. He eat off long grass in no time. Here you are. You try holding him. No, I don't want to. He's not slimy. Rabbit, get Rabbit, take it away. <laughs> oh, come on, Trojan. Look at all this lovely long grass. No, no way. You can lead a horse no. to water, Mr. Lasky. <laughs> He's all right. Oh, whoops. Ah! oh, excuse me, Mr. Lasky. What in heaven's name is going on? Rabbit was being stupid. He's dropped the snake on the floor. Snake? It's only a grass snake. Oh. I wonder where the wee thing's got to. I, I, I think it went under here. You come back. Miss Peacock's grass not that bad. Come on, we can catch him. Everybody to the car. Hurry up, Rabbi! <gasps> oh, he's all right. I found him. Here come. Seatbelt on, chop away. No, I've got him. Hey, wait for me. Here we go. 
You see, Shia, laying your pivot stones is a highly technical operation. <laughs> it's not something you can just pick up overnight. I had to go to day release to get where I am, just to learn the basics. Now, your concrete base has to be what uh, we building experts call dead flat. <laughs> Always like to get stuck into your work, do you, treasure? <laughs> what? Oh, sure. Sure, experts. Spanner, where are the paving stones? What the? <laughs> I'm not arrived yet, Mr. Gasmore. Not arrived? Then why the? Oh, have you mixed the concrete? Oh, yeah. If that lot sets before Jones gets here, you're going to be in big trouble. Oh, oh, oh my little finger. Do you see him? No, not the thing. Uh-oh. Which way now, I wonder? Grim's pool or the towpath? <laughs> Look! <laughs> that glimpse pool road. Right, hang on to your hands. Oh, I wonder which way they went. I bet it was the towpath. Heave ho! Heave ho! Oh, oh, oh dearie me. I'm too old for this. Oh. Hi, Buffalo. Are you looking for Trojan too? No, Joshua. Engine losing oil. Got to warn him. What? Leave it to me, Buffalo. I'll tell him. I don't like the sound of that engine, Fairport. <laughs> Josh! You're losing oil! Oil? Oh, Struth! Is everything all right, Josh? Thanks for the warning, Ravi. Well, we've saved the engine. Trouble is, Wilton Cashmore's not going to get his delivery on time. What are you going to do? Don't know. Yes, I do. I'll leg it. There you are, Mr. Cashmore. Smooth as a baby's body. Watch out, man. Just need the uh, paving stones, don't we? <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> I did, actually. Buster, Daphne! Buster! Fiona! No, stop! Stop! <laughs> yep. Yeah. I saw that as well. Oh. Before Kenobos had engines, this was the only way you could get through a tunnel like this. Ah, the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. Oh. Hey, Josh, look. Trojan, you couldn't have come at a better time, you old fruit. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Spanner. It's all right, Miss Peacock. <laughs> no paving stones, anyway. Hi, everybody! Look, it's Josh! He's made it! <laughs> Whatever made Trojan bolt like that in the first place? Oh! He could have been frightened by the snake. Snake? 
Yeah, a grass snake. I've got it here. Look. Hey, up. He's got a boa constructor. Spanner. You blithering idiot. But can't you see? He's got a... Actually, Spanner, I don't think Mr. Cashmore can see anything. <laughs>